When we see astronauts all geared up in their advanced spacesuits for their missions, there seems to be some sense of excitement and inspiration that comes with it. As a result, when Musk and SpaceX unveiled a new spacesuit design, fans and onlookers expected it to outperform NASA's existing designs. What makes this spacesuit so unique that it almost completely obliterates everything NASA has ever done? Join us in this video as we explore every detail of the spacesuit. On a trip to the International Space Station in 2020, Aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley were spotted wearing SpaceX spacesuits. These futuristic spacesuits are a far cry from the bulky pumpkin flight suits astronauts used to wear during the last launch phase of the shuttle flights from Florida's Kennedy Space Center, managed by NASA, as well as any other spacesuit designed for astronauts of other countries. But before we go any further, let's first understand what spacesuits are. A spacesuit, sometimes known as an EMU, an acronym which stands for Extra Vehicular Mobility Unit is a garment worn by astronauts to keep them alive in the harsh environment of outer space, which includes vacuum and temperature extremes. Spacesuits are frequently worn within spacecraft as a safety measure in the event of cabin pressure loss. They are also required for work performed outside of the spacecraft, more concisely titled Extra Vehicular Activity EVA, like in Earth's orbit, on the Moon's surface, and on the way back to Earth from the Moon. Modern spacesuits add a complex set of technology and environmental systems to the basic pressure garment to keep the user comfortable and reduce the effort of bending the limbs while combating the natural tendency of soft pressure to stiffen against the vacuum. To provide total independence from the spaceship, a self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system are typically used. There are three common categories of spacesuits, namely IVA, intravehicular activity suits, EVA, extravehicular activity suits, and IEVA, intra-extravehicular activity suits. IVA suits are meant to be worn inside a pressurized spacecraft and are therefore lighter and more comfortable. As mentioned earlier, EVA suits are used outside the spacecraft for either planetary exploration or spacewalks, protecting the wearer against all conditions of space, as well as providing mobility and functionality. IEVA suits, on the other hand, are meant for use inside and outside the spacecraft. A great example of this is the Gemini G4C suit, which includes more protection from the harsh conditions of space, such as protection from micrometeoroids and extreme temperature change. Clearly, in the years since man first decided to go beyond the skies, there are now many variations of spacesuits, but they are mostly different variations of the same old design. The suit from SpaceX, however, changes things up significantly. The spacesuits used by astronauts at the International Space Station ISS, before SpaceX's design are rather ancient. SpaceX began constructing their spacesuits from astronauts to wear inside the Dragon 2 space vehicle in February 2015. The SpaceX spacesuits are a cool one-piece white design that is much sleeker than the bulky space shuttle launch suits, which were also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suit (ACES). The new design was so slim in 2018, the company's founder, Elon Musk, had to reassure concerned Instagram followers that the suit works. You can just jump in a vacuum chamber with it and it's fine. If the spacesuit closely resembles a spacesuit built for a movie set, that could be because the suit designer is legendary Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, who is known for costumes in blockbusters like Wonder Woman, Wolverine, Batman vs Superman, and Captain America Civil War. Fernandez and Musk collaborated on its look. The suit's initial photographs were released in 2017. And during the Falcon Heavy's first flight in late 2018, a mannequin named Starman, after David Bowie's song of the same name, wore the SpaceX spacesuit. Then it was used later on the dummy Ripley, that flew aboard the uncrewed SpaceX Crew Dragon Demo-1 test flight to the ISS in 2019. SpaceX has kept some design features of its spacesuits private, but it has emphasized that the suits are meant to be symbolic, with the larger computer panels that the astronauts will use to monitor the Dragon system and navigate the International Space Station. According to NASA, each suit is custom-made for the astronaut. The protection against depressurization that this suit offers is similar to that of the ACES suit, which had an emergency breathing system and the ability to fully pressurize if the cabin suddenly lost oxygen. The agency said that on the suit, a single connection point on the suit's thigh attaches life support systems, including power connections. The helmet is custom manufactured using 3D printing technology and includes integrated valves, mechanisms for riser retraction and locking, and microphones within the helmet structure. However, these suits are not useful for extravehicular activity since they do not accommodate a tether and do not provide radiation protection. The suit was worn by astronauts in the commercial crew program of SpaceX. A single umbilical wire on the seat hooks into the suit, and this provides a communication link and access to breathable air. The SpaceX suit has already beaten all of NASA's previous designs, but despite this, it does have significant competitors that are worthy of note. 
We don't even need to look too far to find Boeing, the same venerable company that fought and lost to SpaceX for the right to launch NASA's missions. Their design was a pressure suit for periods of launch and re-entry, for the contract with NASA to transport humans to the space station in its CST-100 Starliner spacecraft. The Boeing Blue suits are around 40% lighter and more flexible than previous generations of spacesuits. To keep astronauts cool, the suits have many inside layers. Touchscreen sensitive gloves are also included in the outfit to allow astronauts to use tablets in space. The soft hood-like helmet on the suit has a broad polycarbonate visor to improve peripheral vision for Starliner passengers on their journey to and from space. Zips on the torso area of the suit will allow passengers to change from sitting to standing on the ship more easily. For NASA's forthcoming Artemis program, aimed at landing astronauts on the moon by 2024, the agency released a close-up look at two next-generation suits that will be used in the program in October 2019. The Orion Crew Survival System is one of these, and it is similar to the spacesuits used by SpaceX and Boeing, as well as the pumpkin suits used by Space Shuttle astronauts, although it is far lighter. The Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, the second one of these suits in the Artemis program, is meant to be worn on the moon's surface. It's a lot bigger than the pressure suits that astronauts wear inside spaceships. That is because the XEMU, as it is otherwise called, must protect the astronauts from temperature fluctuations that occur outside of the vessel in space. It's also intended that it will provide protection from micrometeorites and other tiny space debris. In this respect, it is comparable to the suits that were previously used for spacewalking at the International Space Station ISS. The spacesuit engineer responsible for the XEMU is Christine Davis, mentioned that various designs influenced XEMU all the way back to the early 1990s. Among these spacesuits are the ILC Dover's Mark III, used in a NASA field testing program called Desert Research and Technology Studies, Desert Rats, and the more recent Z1 and Z2 spaceship prototypes that ILC Dover and NASA introduced in the last decade. While the main purpose of the XEMU is to run missions on the future Gateway Space Station on the Moon, as well as for lunar exploration or landing on Mars. Its design can be changed to accommodate different missions by swapping out some components to keep the astronauts safe in these different environments. The XEMU is expected to bring with it some impressive innovations. The first of these is increased mobility as a result of the reduced amount of volume in the suit, lighter bearings, and variable pressure system to give astronauts more flexibility when they need it. Others are better hip mobility, mitigation of lunar dust, which may contaminate inner layers of the garment, and general wear and tear of the exterior of the suits. A heads-up display HUD in the suit's helmet, improved life support and safety features, as well as customization to fit the height, size, and comfort of the individual astronaut, which will ultimately provide the broadest range of motion for activities on the moon. We do wish we had more information on the spacesuits from SpaceX, but it seems that Musk intends to keep that a trade secret possibly due to reports of Chinese advancements and his intention to directly challenge the USA in an all-new space race. And so, until we see how SpaceX overcomes the challenges that NASA faced with its previous programs and the rollout of space flights and suits on the market, we cannot truly say whether or not they managed to make a difference yet again. What are your thoughts on the spacesuit from SpaceX? What are its prospects going up against leaders in the commercial spaceflight industry like Boeing and Blue Origin?